Good day, traders. Welcome to another uh, interesting topic I want to bring uh, to you. Introduction to Elliott Wave Theory. You know, due to requests by many, uh, by one of my subscribers that I should uh, bring uh, Elliott Wave Theory course to my channel. I've just started today to, you know, try to, you know, uh, uh, do the video of uh, or the note I put down on Elliot Wave Theory course. Okay, so I'm going to, for uh, the purpose of uh, proper understanding of uh, this theory, I'm going to divide it into about five to six parts. Okay, the first part is going to deal with the introduction to Elliot Wave Theory. The second part, I'm going to be discussing a uh, uh, impulsive wave or motif wave, and then the third one, uh, the third part is going to be on corrective structure. All right, corrective structure. The fourth part will see the continuation of corrective structure. Continuation of corrective structure. The fifth part, okay, is going to be on what is called combination corrective structure. All right, combination corrective structure. And then the last it's going to be on application of both corrective structure and uh, the impulse, how to put everything together and make sense out of it, all right? Remember, this Elliott Wave Theory course I'm bringing to you is not like regular Elliott uh, Wave Theory you read in the book or you study. It's going to be a modified form of Elliott Wave Theory. Of course, you know, the, the theory has long overstayed and there are some uh, modifications, some other confirmations that we have to add to uh, the theory in order to make sense in this uh, contemporary uh, market we are. Okay, but uh, without wasting much of our time, what is Elliot Wave Theory itself? I've put here Elliot Wave Theory is a theory in technical analysis used to describe price movement in the financial market. You remember when I was, uh, uh, you know, uh, taking some of my uh, fresh students on Forest Foundation course on the technical analysis, I did mention, you know, Elliott Wave Theory. When I was mentioning supply and demand, when I was mentioning support and resistance, when I was mentioning, you know, some other techniques, I also mentioned Elliott Wave Theory as a method of technical analysis. It's very powerful, guys, when it comes to market forecasting. I've, I've learned a lot of uh, methods in trading financial market, but I've not seen anyone that beat, you know, Elliott Wave Theory in terms of uh, uh, market forecasting, all right? So I, I encourage you, if you have not watched my Forest Foundation course, I encourage you to go back to this channel, search for my video, Forest Foundation course, the one, the two, the three, the three has part two, part one, part two, then we have the four and we have the five. Do not miss this because it is those foundation courses that will give you a proper understanding of what is moving the market. Why are why is this market pushing up in an impulse? Why is this market correcting? Why is this staying in one place? That is the course that will give you proper perspective. I've made it available free of charge here on YouTube for you to watch. All right. After we have finished Forest Foundation course, the one to the five, you can then move. Can move to Elliot Wave theory and you come and understand, you know, uh, what the theory is all about. So, who is Mr. Elliot? You know, the theory was developed by Ralph uh, Nelson Elliot in the 1930s. Can you see more than uh, more than 90 years, if I'm not mistaken? 1930 to date, it's about 70 plus 20, about 90 years. And honestly, the theory is still very relevant in today. Uh, today's market, very, very relevant in today's market, okay? So, uh, he developed it in uh, 1930s, and honestly, this man, at the time, then, he, he was sick, all right? He was sick, and uh, while he was uh, trying to recover at home, he was less busy, he was idle, and he was looking for what to do in order to keep himself busy. This is what most of us don't do these days. He was looking for what to do to keep himself busy. And by doing that, he now lay his hands on uh, uh, market data, you know, stock market data for about 75 years. He put them together and was able to extract some basic facts about the market. 
one important thing that he noticed is that there were some patterns in the market that were repetitive in nature. So this man was able to isolate those patterns, he was able to identify those patterns, and he was able to name them. He was able to name them. Do you see it now? First is identification, all right? He was able to identify the pattern, he was able to isolate them, he was able to describe and define them, and then he was able to name them, all right? So by naming them, he was able to say, oh, anytime he sees a similar you know, uh, uh, pattern, will be able to say, oh, this is how this pattern behave. And whenever he sees social pattern in social position, this is how it behaves and this is how to trade it. That was how this man worked and he was able, you know, to set uh, 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 this pattern. But he was able to set aside these different patterns that you see in the market. But comes to look at it, how does this pattern just develop? For instance, you have a move like this, you have another one moving like this, you have another one moving like this. What is making this one to come? What is making this one to come, all right? And what is making this one to come? It's all boils down to human psychology, all right? So price movement, price movement has a relationship with human psychology. There is a way human being feel when they are trading the market and it is their psychology, their behavior that drive price move. For instance, when we hear information about inflation rate, that inflation rate has, uh, uh, has increased uh, in US from 0 0.5, let's say from 0 0.5 to 1%. So uh, normally we, we will know that by that, uh, USD we appreciate, we go up. So when you are looking at USD card and USD card is in this consolidation, in this correction here, then you know by this increase in interest rate from 0.5 to 1%, this move is probable, it's going to come. Can you see how human behavior and the information we are getting from the market, how is driving, you know, how is driving the next impulse? And that next impulse is in compliance with Elliott Wave theory that says when there is impulse and there is correction, there is going to be another impulse. Can you see now? All right, so but you see that market is fractal in nature. Can you see? You see this piece, you see this one, you combine it with this one, you combine it with this one, and even this one will continue to go, continue to go. So, as fractal as it is, you combine the pieces together. When you join it together, you now make sense, you now make a bigger, a larger structure. So, every large structure you see in the market is made up of little, little piece, just like a motor car. The motor car is made up of several parts that they join together to make up, uh, to make sense of the car. You have the tire, you have the bonnet, you have the engine, you have the roof, you have the doors, you have the steering, you have the, you have the dashboard, you have the fuel tank, you have the seat, you have the gear, you have everything. So when you put everything together, that is when it will now make sense. The same thing is applicable to forest chart, all right? In Elliott Wave theory, he has, able to, he has been able to fractalize the chart. And when he brings the pieces together, that is when it will make sense. And that's what we're going to be learning, okay? So let's move on. So there are specific rules that Mr. Elliott, you know, has, you know, described that actually explain his theory very well, okay? So, uh, 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 he is able to identify, predict, and capitalize on this wave pattern. Okay, so but each of these wave pattern you see, there are rules that govern their formation. There are rules that govern the next wave that will proceed. The present level of the market, there is a rule that will govern where we are. There is a rule that will govern where we are going. That is what makes this rule very, very important. Okay, so understanding these rules in itself does not guarantee that the market is going to do what you have described that it will do. Because I've, al I've always said it, that every technical analysis that you do is very, very subjective in nature. There is no objectivity at all. It's all subjective because whatever analysis you have done, you have only done that analysis to be useful to yourself. The market is not uh, uh, bound 
to you know to respect your analysis if market must comply with our analysis all of us will be billionaire guys all of us will be billionaire but it is not a must that market must comply with your analysis so because of that you must not rely absolutely on Elliott wave theory alone you must be able to apply some other techniques you know as a confirmation strategy towards to the rules and, and, and guideline that is set by Elliott wave theory for instance when you have uh, with one two three four to five as an impulse you have it uh, like this one two three four five as an impulse at the end of with three here and at the end of with five here you must be able to see a divergence a divergence means that even though this with five is making a higher high than this with three when you come to indicator like rsi it's not going to make a higher high it's going to make a lower high for instance you see this you see this you see this can you see at this level all right a left with theory says that at the end of this week five, markets should come down in a corrective structure, all right? But then you are able to get confirmation to this by virtue of this divergence. That's just another confirmation. You must add some of these confirmations, uh, you know, to the guidelines and the rule as set out by uh, Elliot uh, with uh, theory. I, I want to believe we are understanding, uh, you are understanding it gradually now, okay? Now, there are two types of uh, 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 waves as identified by uh, Mr. Elliot. We have number one, we have what is called motif waves. All right, we have motif wave. And then two, we have what is called corrective wave. All right, motif waves are just waves that proceed in the direction of the trend. Waves that proceed in the direction of the trend is motif wave. For instance, if you have a trend like this, you have a trend, you have a push, you have a correction, you have a push, you have a correction, you have a push, you have a uh, you have a push. Let's let's take this way, and you have a larger corrective structure like this. Okay, this is what Elliot Wolf is saying. He's saying that we have two types of uh, waves. This is one type of wave. All right, it move like this. It's one type of wave. And then the second type of wave is the one that come like this, all right? So he's saying that the one uh, that moves in the direction of the trend, you can see that uh, from here now, you are expecting another move to the upside from here, okay? You are expecting another move to the upside here. So he's saying that these waves that are in the direction of the trend is what is called a uh, motif wave. Where's the motif wave? You have this uh, wave that are in five uh, waves to the upside. Let me try and label them. This is one, two, three, four, and five. This is a five wave to the upside. He's saying this is called a motif wave. Why is it a motif wave? It's, it's in waves that is forming in the direction of the trend. Where is the trend here? Uptrend, all right? And he said the second type of waves is a corrective waves. Okay, and that corrective waves, you label it in, in letters, all right, letters. That is A, B, and C. This is a corrective wave. But now, you should know that when we are in wave analysis, every impulse, all right, every impulse is labeled in numbers. Can you see numbers? I'm using one, two, three, four, five here. And every correction is labeled in what? in letters a b c all right in letters when we go deep into corrective structure when we, when we come to analyze the characteristics and features of each of these waves that you see here you will understand better all right okay so you can understand now that we have two types of wave in wave analysis number one you have imp you have motive waves motive waves is uh, waves that proceed in the direction of the overall trend of the structure and we have corrective waves waves that opposes you know the overall direction of the price move can you see look at this arrow this arrow is in the direction of the price move this arrow is pointing down the wave is coming down is against the price move 
And whenever he waves, is corrective in nature, he spend more time to develop. Whereas whenever he waves, is, is in the direction of the trend, is, is faster and sharper, all right? At times, it might even be difficult for you to identify these internal pullbacks that are happening in them. So this is sharp, while this is slow and sluggish. The one that is very fast and sharp is the impulse, and the one that is very slow and sluggish is usually the correction, all right? So these are the two types of wave. So it is important to know that wave theory is subjective uh, in nature, as I have told you before. Not all traders interpret the theory the same way. That is what brings the idea of you know, subjectivity in uh, wave theory. It is you know, when you give a chart to two wave analysts, they are going to analyze it different ways for you. All right. They are not likely to get the same result. All right. But if you give it to 10, it's possible that uh, uh, six of them might get the same result. But maybe two or three of them will interpret it different ways. You understand? So that is why we say it is what? It is subjective in nature. So why I'm bringing you know, this course to you, you know, raw, is that I want to, you know, attempt to bring some level of objectivity to the subjective nature of the analysis as depicted in the Elliott Wave Theory textbook and any course you may watch anywhere. I'm bringing some other techniques to it, you know, where, you know, uh, uh, some uh, 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 wave analysts, you know, that, you know, trade the market with only wave theory alone, where they have failed, I'm going to correct, where they have made mistake, I'm going to correct those areas by using some other techniques for which we are, you know, gladly enough experts in, in using. We're going to bring it to play, use it to, you know, you know, to confirm Elliott Wave structure, you know, and then trade with some measure of authority. That is why I encourage you to watch the part one, the introductory stage, the part two, which will be on impulse, part three and part four, which will be on corrective structure, part five, which will be on combination corrective structure, and part six is going to be on practical application, putting every pieces together and make sense of it. I encourage you to watch it all, all right? And you are going to benefit lightly from it. You know, why, you know, when you come to my group, you see I make 10 forecasts and all will go in the same direction. It's nothing but using Elliott Wave Theory to do my forecasting, all right? And that has been working uh, so well. So these are the two types of uh, waves that we have, you know, but understanding wave analysis offers insight. You know, I have told you that it is subjective in nature, but I'm also telling you that understanding wave analysis, all right, offers insight into trend dynamics and help you to understand price movement in a much more deeper way. You can't take that from Elliott Wave Theory. You can never take that from, 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 from the theory. It will give you an insight into the next wave. If, you know, it will help you to understand market nature in a much deeper way. It will help you to make sense about the market because I can tell you, there is no move in the market that does not have explanation based on Elliott Wave Theory. So if you understand Elliott Wave Theory properly, you will be able to understand and depict the next move in the market. And if you understand fundamental analysis, you'll be able to come up with an explanation why Elliott Wave is forecasting the next impulse in the market. And if your explanation on, in the realm of the fundamental can match up with the expectation from the Elliott Wave theory, you know that you are on your way to success, all right? So this is just the introductory part of Elliott Wave Theory. For now, I expect you to know uh, the, 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 uh, the beginning of Elliott Wave Theory, the, the man, Mr. Ralph Nelson Elliott, you know, as the one that developed and established the theory himself, what made him to come up with the theory, at what time did he come up with the theory, then the pattern, how he identified the pattern, how he named the pattern, and, you know, how he defined 
this pattern and the different uh, positions in the chart that you will notice this pattern and how to trade them. I've also discussed with you that he described specific rules that govern, you know, uh, how to identify, predict, and capitalize on some of these rules uh, pattern. All right. I've also discussed with you that understanding these rules does not in itself gives guarantee for the market to follow uh, uh, the forecasted direction. Okay. So this is the reason why uh, other confirmation must be used together with Elliott Wood theory, such as uh, confirmation like uh, divergence, like uh, RSI, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So I've also told you that there are two types of uh, waves in uh, as, as far as Elliott Wood theory is concerned. I've told you you have the motif waves, uh, which is this one. And when you go further, when we come in the next uh, class, we are going to be discussing only these motif waves, guys. Only this, we are going to leave this corrective part. We are going to discuss and dissect this motif wave, okay? We are going to pieces it, guys, and you are going to understand it perfectly with practical example, okay? We have impulse uh, motif waves, and we have what is called corrective, uh, corrective waves. In some textbook, you will hear that motif wave is the same thing as uh, impulse. Yes, it's correct. But we have two types of uh, uh, motif waves. We have what is called impulse and we have what is called diagonal. All right, we have what is called diagonal, which many of you refer to as a rising channel in the, your conventional, you know, uh, textbook on technical analysis. We are going to break down into pieces. Why you don't? Why you should not at your at a professional level call it a rising channel? All right, we are going to tell you uh, how it is. You know, in the next uh, uh, lesson. Okay, so that is just the introductory part of uh, Elliott Wave Theory, guys. So next lesson, part two, we are going to be dealing with uh, analysis of these impulsive waves, the rules and the guidelines that governs its formation and the level uh, where retracement is expected or the level where reversal is expected, uh, the length of wave one, wave three, wave five, the length of wave two, wave four, the behavior of one, two, three, four, and five. All we are going to discuss when we meet in part two, which will be on the motive waves. Okay, guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, consider to subscribe to our channels and benefit from all the free content that we post here. And if you have subscribed, make sure uh, as you watch this video, you pass your comment in the comment section. Of course, somebody passed a comment for me to do videos on Elliott Wave Theory. That is why you are benefiting uh, from this content right away. You can also write your own comment. If you want me, if there is something you are confused about, whatever that thing may be, as far as on financial market, we are, by the grace of God, we are up to task to tackle it. I will definitely do a video uh, to assist you uh, with it, whether fundamental, technical, sentimental, uh, behavioral analysis, whatever, just let me do. No, I'm going to do a video to assist you. All right. So uh, share, comment, likes, so that many people, uh, YouTube will show the video to many people to also, uh, you know, watch our video. So that is it. Uh, see you next time for another interesting video on impulsive wave. Bye for now. Peace.